Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Tirasin Zira Ratsakun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first fighting about the red corner, 29 years of age, his hands, 180 centimeters tall, and weighted 140 pounds. He holds a record of 75 wins, 20 losses, and one draw. He is a former Lumini Stadium champion, and former Shadow 7 champion, and former Top Team World Series champion, representing Mahasaraka Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Shooter Dabran Saraka! And his opponent fighting for the blue corner. 30 years of age, his turns 172 centimeters tall and fed in 140 pounds. He will record over 71 wins, 27 losses and one draw. He is Ifba World Championship gold medalist and former Thailand champion and former two times Lumini Stadium champion. Representing Nampu province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Kapitan Pekindi Academy. fight here at RWS. It's the second semi-final. The winner will be on to face Nern Lang Lek for three million baht. Let's find out who that is going to be. Both fighters taken to the center of the ring. Attempted inside a leg kick there from Capitan, doubling it up there. Just measuring how Chu Jaran as a fanboy, last time these guys fought, not against each other here on RW West, of course, I was able to take a picture with both. And I have to say, Chujuran's taller than me, right? And I weigh a very slim, about 72, 73 kilograms. For him to be able to make 63.5 blows my mind. I don't know how he's able to do it. It is unbelievable. 140 pounds for someone as big as him. Incredibly tall for that weight. Sure. So, Capitan employing some deep tier defensive, trying to keep Chu Jalen away. Oh, nice kick to the back there from Capitan. Sorry, from Chu Jalen. Left kick. Oh, fast, kick. sharp. Jumping into that leg kick again. Setting up again for the rear kick. Oh, a little bit of a back tape there from Chu Jalen. Very tricky. Not being as aggressive as we've seen him in the past here at RWS. Starting slow and getting clipped here by Capitan. Great start. Chujuan now trying to back up Capitan, swinging in a miss. Stepping up into that lead left kick there from Capitan. Good low kick by Capitan. Catching the leg, kicking low. Oh, oh! oh! hand from Capitan! Is this? The tail of the One Punch Man! Has he secured it again? Oh my goodness, and Chujaroon is down, but he's back to his feet right now. Capitan is gonna move in for the kill. Chujaroon's gonna have to apply pressure. Sitting on the back now. Quick fire hands there from Chujaroon. That has really got to play on the confidence of Chujaroon. Right low kick from Capitan. Trying to come in for the elbow now. I was not expecting that in this opening round. I thought it might have been a little bit more of a feeling out process. But Capitan, what a right hand that was. Right on the money. Chujaran went down. He's looking okay right now. Doesn't look like a wobble dim. Just stunned him a little bit. Woke him up, that's for sure. Chujaran looking for uppercuts. Right hand, right elbow there by Chujaran. Capitan delivering kicks to the body. Good block there from Capitan. Another elbow coming in by Chujaroon. Concrete defense there by Capitan. Chujaroon almost used the referee to stay on his feet that time. <laughs> Final stages now. And there it is. End of round one in the box. And Capitan has just scored a 10-8. Wow. Unbelievable. I was not expecting that. 
the way that Judron, like I said, had performed in the group stages, I even thought he was going to... Earlier rounds, bring that action back. All right, here we go. Second round. It's going to be interesting to see now if Capitan is going to be as aggressive or he will prefer to fight off the back foot. It might be made to because Chudron is going to have to come out like a bull now and take it to Capitan Pet Yindi. Left kick there by Chudron. Again, looking for that right hand, but Pet, sorry, Capitan is able to show his guard prowess and his defensive prowess. And again, here comes Capitan with that counter right hand. Chudron on the hunt now, looking for that elbow opportunity, pushing the hands through. Referee brings them back into the center for action. Oh, nice uppercut there, right hand from Chujurun, swinging. Again, he's looking for that uppercut at every single opportunity, but he's not really connecting with it as Capitan again is guarding. Good strategy there by Capitan with the body lock, shutting him down. Here comes Chujurun once again, looking for that elbow through the guard. And a body lock once again here by Capitan. The question is though, is that going to score? There's on RGBS, of course, it's slightly different to stadium rules. There is more emphasis on aggression, you would think. Oh, good elbow there within the clinch. Very good el chopping elbow over the top from the tall man in the black shorts. Oh, he's another right hand, though. Good reply there oh, from Capitan. another right hand. But an elbow strike there from Capitan wobbles him and he holds on. Back and forth in the second round. Pretty sure that elbow caught him, Joe. Here comes Capitan once again, looking for a left high kick. Connects with a right elbow. He's still not cut, though. He's still not cut. He's still in this. I was about to say, is there blood flowing from his left eyebrow? But you just answered my question. Good hands here from Capitan. And again, he's holding on. Trying to run down that clock in the second round. Interesting strategy here in the second round. Because is it enough to bring up the points to solidify his standing here in the second round? Good point. Well made there, Joe. And cool. interesting to see, like you said, how the judges do score this one with one under under one minute left on the clock. Chujuran oh. on the hunt now. Spinning back elbow there from Capitan. Chujuran looking to bring in a combo, but he cannot find Chujuran. Sorry, he cannot find Capitan. Good right hand there through the pipe hole from Tudor and looking for that left hook, but he misses and Capitan delivers a good kick to the body and again holds on and slows down play. Shutting him down with that body lock. Body lock. Hunting again for that elbow, bringing it through. Another right kick to the body. There is a well on the forehead there of Capitan. Bit of an egg. Not cut though. Capitan continuing to stay on the back foot. Final stages of this second round. Swing and a miss from Jujurun. Spinning back elbow there from Jujurun. You've got to spin it to win it. End of round two. And a very happy Capitan goes into the corner, whereas Jujurun, more of a frustrating figure. But he might have done enough, you never know, on the scorecards here at RWS. Be interesting to see how the judges score this round. He doesn't find that knockout. It's whole time. So here we are for the third and final round. Chu Jaren taking on Capitan Petyindi. See Chu Jaren moving forward. He's looking for those hands. Looping oh, those hooks oh, around. But he's getting caught. Of course, it has to be said as well, at Pet Yindi Academy, they also have a gold medalist boxer called Manus, who I really think has helped with all the fighters, particularly adapting to the style here at RWS, because the hands of these fighters from Pet Yindi, let's not forget they have a fighter in every single Final Four, have been tremendous so far. Sitting on the back foot now, negating the pressure from Chujaran, who's on the hunt. He wants that three million baht. He wants to get one step closer. Oh, swing and a miss there from Chujuru. Capitan with a low kick. I have to say, like I said, I really thought Chujuru was going to impose himself more on this fight. 
I really thought he could win, if I'm being honest, against Capitan, but it's not going to be here tonight. It's looking like Capitan is almost sailing through to the final right now. You know, all it takes is something like that right hand that we saw in the first round <laughs> to rock your confidence. Absolutely. One little mistake by Jujuran, and that changed the, the complexity of this whole fight. Jumping knee attempted there by Jujuran, who then looks for that right hand, but once again, Capitan just grabs a hold of him and runs down the clock. Turning back the clock as well, it has to be said here tonight, is Capitan. Sitting on the back foot, just teeping away, evading, scoring again with those kicks. Spinning back fist attempted there by Chujuru. He just can't find Capitan. This is something that Pet Tong Chai in the group stages was able to do. He was defending well. And when Capitan was opening his arms to expose his guard, he was able to find hands. Capitan's obviously grown and learned from that experience. And uh, well, he's looked absolutely phenomenal here tonight. Superman punch there by Capitan. Swinging right and kick by Chujuran again over the head of Capitan, not finding the mark. Capitan just throwing that tape straight from the hips. See, Chujuran is still moving forward. He's looking more of a dejected figure this time. Very frustrated. Very tired. Capitan bouncing on the balls of his feet. And again, look at that guard. So clever. He knows when Chujuran's going to throw. 20 seconds to go here in the final round. Hunting for that left hook there. As Capitan continues to wind down the clock. Just locking on. Back in center ring, dancing away from Chujaran. And there you have it. Capitan Pekindi is heading into this year's RWS Super Lightweight Final. One step closer to three million bar. There you can see his boss, Bolt Pet Yindi, also a famous promoter here in Thailand. Congratulations to him and his team, and of course to Capitan. And commiserations to Chujara Gabran Saratan. We just couldn't find that form, but we, we saw of him in the group stages. Let's have a look at the highlights of that fight. Big jumping knee there from a two John. Spinning back fist attempt. Back to a left kick there from Capitan as he moves away. Securing that spot into the final. That was the right hand that secured it. It was being honest. The difference maker. Bang! Right on the money. You called him the one punch man. And that one punch means he's going to compete for three million baht. The final four is complete. The finalists are set. Ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored his vote 30 to 26. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision and moving on to RWS final. Ladies and gentlemen, RWS final of the Super Lightweight Division. Min Lanak Chit Milnon will fight against Capitan Pechindi Academy.